Hi, I'm Lou Luminick, Chief Film Critic of New York Post, here with a review of Avatar. It isn't easy being blue, the trans species hero of James Cameron's spectacular Avatar learns when he's forced to defend the planet in a distant galaxy from Earthling imperialists determined to lay waste to a paradise. Part eco-fable, part dances with wolves in intergalactic drag, and part kick-ass action flick a la Aliens, with a left-leaning political agenda, Cameron's first movie since Titanic may sometimes speak in Velveeta, but it's rarely less than absorbing and never boring over its nearly three-hour length. Avatar really pushes the envelope in its awe-inspiring depiction of Pandora. It's the home of the slender, blue-skinned, golden-eyed Navi race, which mostly peacefully coexists with gigantic flying reptiles, dinosaur-like beasts, and other fearsome creatures. You gotta see where you're going. Can't see anything. <laughs> exactly. Nave and the avatars have been created using motion picture animation, which has evolved far beyond the Polar Express and now permits remarkably convincing humanoid characters. Australian actor Sam Worthington does a great job of conveying the naive Sulby's conflicts. Saldana is a fearsome vision in blue, and Weaver, a veteran of Cameron's aliens, is very good as Pandora's Margaret Mead. The nonstop action in the movie's last half hour borrows not only from Apocalypse Now, but Cameron's Aliens. Avatar does offer some groan-worthy dialogue, but it's likely you'll get so wrapped up in this glorious epic you'll scarcely notice. So I'm giving Avatar three and a half stars out of four. I'm Lou Luminick, and you can find my reviews at nypost.com. Outstanding.